um, <laughs> one of our goals was to get to the championship. I know we were talking about getting to the championship. This year is winning the championship. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even like uh, when we were in, in Vegas, we, we we were happy, but we didn't celebrate like we did when we won um, in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, like, I mean, we were happy, and then it's like, okay, next step, because we're not done. Like, this, is, this wasn't our goal. Our goal is to win. So just taking that extra step, doing that extra 1% each day. All right, so with that business-like approach, is that something you guys feel like that adopted at the playoffs, or is, has it kind of been like the theme of the entire year? Yeah, for sure, the entire year. Um, simply because you can, it's not like a light switch, you can just turn it on. Mm -hmm. These are like little things that we have to instill early on so that it's nothing new come this time. Um, and teams are getting better. I mean, and we want to continue to get better each day so that we don't, we don't peak in the middle of the season, or we want to be peaking around this time. So just continue to get that 1% each better so that we're playing our best at this time of the year. You guys feel like you learned anything from that hard fought series with Vegas? Because mm -hmm. one of the things Tasha was saying was like, you know, Connecticut, they got the sweep. Mm -hmm. um, you guys really had to, you know, you mm -hmm. got really challenged mm -hmm. in that series. So do you agree to that? Yeah, I think um, it, it's good. Um, I mean, obviously we would like to sweep, but just being able to to um, battle through that because we don't want to be shocked when we get to the championship yeah. here. Like, I mean, they're a really good team, and, and they're going to go on their runs, and like Vegas did, they went on their runs, and I thought we responded well um, and being able to fight through the adversity, um, which will prepare us for this upcoming series. All right, lastly, like I asked Tiana, five Terps mm -hmm. in the finals, so many yeah. other players, both sides were tied to the DMV. Um, what does it mean to you? Not only from a Maryland standpoint. Yeah, I mean, it speaks highly of the program. It speaks, it speaks highly of uh, Brenda Freeze. Um, and honestly, if I think correctly, um, I don't I don't know about Christy, but all most I know me, Tiana, AT, and Bree, like we weren't highly recruited coming out of high school. So being for Brenda uh, Brenda Freeze being able to to see something that other people don't see, um, being able to to groom us into the professionals that we are today, giving us that opportunity, believing in us, um, it speaks highly of her, the program, and. Um, what they do over there at the uh, university.